relate this at the last here because there's three different things. Littleton, uh, two facts that I think are, uh, it's more than probable that uh, it was designed to be at that time. Number one, it was eight days before the National Rifle Association Convention, and that I think is the improbable, that it would just have happened. Second thing, second statistic is it happened in the same city where the NRA was. Facts that are in the newspaper, and I think that they are irrefutable. Uh, let me add to that. There were 13 people killed, right? 13, a satanic number. Let me also mention that the FBI blocked the entrance to the school for four hours after the two uh, shooters committed suicide, would not let anybody in, under the pretext they were afraid there were bombs in there. There were going to be bombs in there four hours, five hours, six hours later, it didn't matter, right? I, I, I suspect that they blocked the doors because they needed 13 people to die. And Mr. Saunders, the teacher, would have lived had he received medical uh, treatment immediately. No, go ahead, your next question. I, I talked to somebody that was from Littleton, and there were also many heavy bombs that were there. They said it was impossible for two people to have carried everything in there. And those two young men w had to, quote, unquote, uh, commit suicide, so the real facts never came out. To, uh, By the way, in the MK Ultra program and the satanic movement, they teach them to commit suicide. That's part of their programming. Go ahead. I had uh, occasion to be in uh, near some large corporations of the Fortune 500. One of them was Guthy Rinker. There they had a uh, KG, uh, they had a an ex what they call an ex Russian Army Lieutenant Colonel that was there working in that corporation. I then had an opportunity to be in Language Force, which is another local corporation, and there was another ex. Russian army man. One had been there five years, one had been there eight years. They were in responsible positions. My contention is, are there ex-Russian army people in all the 500 uh, corporate, Fortune 500 corporations in America? I don't, I don't have any knowledge. I, I just saw the China Cox report. There's 3,000 Chinese front organizations here in America today. Uh, the third is a, is a question uh, uh, to you. Uh, as we are using our bombs and bombing empty buildings in Kosovo and have been, uh, and all of our uh, primary planes and uh, troops are over there, uh, and America is basically without uh, soldiers, without planes, without arms, what is your thoughts? Would you please dialogue on that a minute? Well, first of all, I don't believe we have any business being in Kosovo. Uh, we have no business being in the United Nations, right. as far as I'm concerned. The United Nations is just another um, uh, organization like NATO and uh, that is going to try to bring us into a new world order, a, a one world government. Uh, you noticed in the newspapers that Clinton was saying initially 100,000 atrocities and then when the facts came out there were 10,000, that's 10,000 too many. But is that any worse than bombing hospitals and bombing civilians in trains and buses and bombing bridges? and killing the civilians that we did with the bombs? No, we have no business being there. I think that's a, 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 another uh, wag the dog situation. But and in relationship to our nation, as we are bombing empty buildings, and I'll have all of our troops and arms and planes over there, and we are left without defenses. Our, our, our boys are stationed right today in 40 countries around the world. We have foreign troops stationed in America by the thousands. We have a German air base at Holloman. I have been told by reliable sources we have Chinese and Russian soldiers that are hiding out in the mountains, in the woods, and so forth. And uh, who knows? We, are, are, you oper are you familiar with Operation Garden Plot? Operation Garden Plot is a plan to arrest uh, the leaders, so-called right-wing Christian militia patriots. Uh, last year, 19, not last year, 1997, uh, the FBI had a series of conferences around the country with local law enforcement as to how to handle terrorists. They dealt with uh, the patriots, the militia, and the right-wing Christian fundamentalists. Did not uh, deal with the gangs, the Crips and the Bloods. Did not mention them. They mentioned them, but they didn't deal with them. Okay, why don't we take one more? This one. Okay, one more question. Mr. P Mr. Pearson, no why are you standing there? Thank you, Mr. 
Yeah. He's protecting my. Okay, we have a question. Question here. A book I think came out around 1991 or 90 called Secret Agenda. She mentioned that all the project heads of MK Ultra were Project Paperclip Nazis. Would you comment on the the Nazi and occult connection and the United States government? Uh, Project Paperclip brought over. I've heard several figures: 900 and also 1,200 uh, Nazi scientists after World War II. Uh, these scientists were placed very uh, uh, carefully into various government agencies, federal government agencies, including the CIA operations. And uh, we were further exploited their knowledge uh, and the information they developed in Germany during World War II and prior to World War II uh, to our benefit. Uh, there's no question about it. Um, and these people are operating today. And they were involved uh, directly in the MKUltra program. Yes. And I have children that are being uh, taken to nursery schools, and I'm just wondering if, um, and I don't want to name names, but this is a very prominent name here in Orange County. I'm just curious that when you're saying this, it just scares me to death. I'm tempted to have them let me babysit the kids. They're like two years old rather than putting them in any kind of daycare. I mean, yeah. wh where, are, where are our kids safe? Yeah. Well, your kids aren't safe any place except at home as far as I'm concerned. And uh, I have a very, by the way, I have a, um, a very ex an outstanding home uh, schooling program, 22 CD-ROMs that's available to you through Dr. Arthur Robinson. Again, it's on my flyer in the back. Uh, I urge every one of you before you leave here to grab my flyer, at least look over some of my research. I, I um, certainly will. Th there are certain signs uh, that you can pick up on from your child to see if maybe these things are going on in the school. Uh, number one, look for blood in the diapers. Uh, number two, if the kid is uh, upset and doesn't want to go to the school, have anything to do with it. There's a, if there's immediate uh, interest, even though it's an infant in uh, sex or fondling of the sexual organs, uh, there's a number of signs. Catherine Gould, Dr. Catherine Gould has a checkoff list of these things, which is all, again is also available through me if you want to write me a letter. I, I uh, send me a five bucks to cover everything. It's quite lengthy, and I'll be glad to send it to you. Thank you very much. And get my address from the flyer in the back. Uh, I, I couldn't uh, agree with you more with respect to uh, looking into the school situation. I would urge everyone in the audience here to um, take a day off, basically, and visit a junior high school or high school or elementary school unannounced, basically. You may be shocked at what you see in the so-called curricula. But my question is this. I am completely ignorant about this so-called MK Ultra. Could you elaborate a little bit more on this for the lame person such as myself? Yeah, uh, the MK Ultra is a government mind control program. Uh, if you want to go out and buy uh, the old movie, The Manchurian Candidate, where the Russians and the Chinese taught them this, <coughs> taught them how to be robots, that's what MK Ultra is about. And the way they train them is through torture and also through drugs, hypnosis. Uh, and, um, and, and what you do is you, uh, uh, you develop a, a personality, a, a number of personalities actually, multiple personalities. And these are me uh, defense mechanisms against the torture that they put you through in order to give you this training. Uh, the kids in Nebraska talked about the MK Ultra programs at Offutt Air Force Base, as I mentioned a few moments ago. Uh, and uh, again, I have a, a whole book on it back there in the back if you want to pick it up and take a look at it. Okay, thank you. Order, you can order it through my uh, form. Uh, one real quick one. I'm of the opinion that this latest movie from uh, Hollywood called Conspiracy Theory was put out to um, uh, get us used to hearing this stuff because they knew it was going to come out at some time. So it's to kind of dumb us down and make us joke about it and laugh about it and, and to basically um, disqualify this in our minds as something we need to worry about. Would agree. you agree or disagree? I agree. Also, other movies have come out. Uh, and I, I say this is mind conditioning is what it yeah, is. Yeah, conditioning. And uh, the enemy of the state is another example of that. They're preparing us for when that actually is announced, it won't be such a shock. Exactly. Or when we research it and come up with the answers, it won't be such a shock. Thank That's you. the last question. Thanks a lot, folks. Oh, I, oh one more? Uh oh. Uh oh. Would you be the first or the second one they arrest when they do the, <laughs> I, I, the concentration I'm not sure. camp? I'm, I'm sure I'm on the list someplace. <laughs>
one. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I, I don't care. You know. Uh, anyway, folks, be sure to get my flyer. Take a look at my flyer. I have the research. Anything that you pick up with my name on it, reproduce and get it to your friends. I'm not interested in copyright. I'm interested in spreading the word. That's my mission. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much. I guess better keep on wired here. Huh? I better get you on wired here. Yeah. Thanks. Is there any chance you could join us down at the restaurant for a little bit? Uh, I, I can't. Okay. My grandchild is here. Okay.